Sorry, guys. Just trying to share. Okay, cool. Hey, thanks, Rena. Hey, Shame. Hello, hello. Hi, Deb. Hi, Nat. Hi, Insta. Hi, La. Thank you guys so much. Hi, Janie. Okay, so I know there's like not a ton of people on the line or whatever tonight, but I don't care. I have something super awesome to share with you guys. So if you guys came with me in my last live, I did these super duper awesome pride nails. I did them with um, some Medusa gels with my nail brushes. Hi, BLK or BLYK. Okay, Phoenix Creations. Um, I also, hi Nini, hi Deb, used some glitter gel from Daily Charm to outline them. So, you know, we always have these. So these are one of my favorite things. Okay, super love. All right, well, we are expanding the family. So, we're, I'm just going to keep it up here. So we're going to have these. I'm going to do a tutorial with them too, so don't go anywhere. Um, and then we have these. So our primaries. Yellow, red, and blue. And we have secondaries. Everybody was asking when the new colors were coming. I was diligently working on them. So I'm super happy to bring them. Um, so you can buy the, the duo pack still, and then there'll be two other sets. So the primaries and then the secondaries. So this way we have like a whole complete little collection going on of the multi gel. So I also have another, um, pride tutorial. So that's what we're going to do, except we're going to do one nail and I'm going to make it a little bit more complex today. So hopefully you guys can like follow along. Also, I use my super duper awesome look shine on top of that, which you can see that my nails are still popping. It's been like three weeks. So you can see how nice and shiny that they are. Hi, Alex. So anywho, so these are the colors that we're going to be using today. We may or may not use the black. I don't know. We'll kind of see because we're going to be on a black background anyway. So I do have, hi, Patty. This um, black nail tip. Sorry, I was doing like swatching and stuff. Um, so this is this black nail tip, and we're going to be doing a pride nail design today. So if you want somebody to come and see another super awesome pride nail design, I did this one the last time. You can go back and watch that anytime on my IGTV. Um, but if you wanted to come and see the newest design, make sure that you are going and sharing this video. This way we can get started. Okay, so. Now that everybody has pretty much seen that, or you will, if you have to come back and watch it again, um, black base. So I just bought these super awesome black nail tips, um, from my Amazon store. So link down below or in my bio, click the link in my bio and then find where it says my Amazon store and then click that and find nail tips. I'm just going to use some acid free primer. Hi, nail tech. I'm just going to do this instead of buffing. So, I love Ox Studio. Oh, that's so nice, Nini. Okay, so I'm going to use some matte top coat. Hey, Brad, so glad that you could join. I didn't try this design out. I just kind of thought it in my head before like doing the live because I was like, oh my God, I need to do something super awesome. It's like when I did those pride nails last year, I was like kind of disappointed that I wasn't able to do some more because I was busy with a different obligation at that time. So, but as always, going to start out with the mat. Got to make sure that the line work is nice and crisp. And that's definitely going to make sure that your line work is really super awesome good. Me too, Nini. I feel like you can't go wrong. Short or long black nails are super awesome. Never bought a style. Hi, Tiff. Sorry if I'm missing anybody. Um, anybody that's coming in, I'm just going to kind of, well, I was going to slide them over, but it's being mean now. But 
So these are the colors that we're going to be using. All of them. Yay. You can find these on my website, expressclaws.com. This is a set. This is a set. This is a set. So um, black and white is no longer on sale, just so you know. But the two newer sets are on sale currently. Okay, so now we have our nice matte black matte. Ugh, nice black matte background it's late so i don't be talking right sometimes so uh thank you so much nini all right so first things first is i'm gonna take my black multi-gel and i want to draw um the male and the female symbols so the reason why i want to do this is because i need to see where to put the rest of my lines and stuff at you're going to kind of see how the design goes um, this doesn't have to be perfect. Basically, like I was showing you guys before, um, in different videos and stuff, you kind of just need to make yourself a guide. This way, you know exactly where everything is going to be. So I'm going to take my other little palette. You can also find this on my website, expresscalls.com. And I'm going to take my highlight brush, this one, oops, yep, highlight brush, it's just a little baby brush. And it's thin. I like smashed it flat. So when I uh, cleaned it, I always try to clean my brushes before the lives because sometimes I don't have time. Okay. But because this dries shiny in the um, LED light, this is going to make things like that much easier for us when we're making our lines. Hi, Tattoos World. Okay. So going to make the one symbol up here to make sure that you're mind you this is just a guide okay so you don't even have to draw the symbol you can literally just draw um, two circles so I want to make sure that both of the circles are roughly uniform Okay, so I'll draw the two circles. Okay, now we're going to cure this. You can just do like a 10 second cure, 15 second cure, 20, 30, whatever you want. Uh, whatever you have time for because you're going to be doing the other stuff anyway. So I'm just going to pinch out my brush on these little wipes. Sometimes people ask me where these wipes are. These are honestly leftover wipes. I literally try to use everything that I have. Um, just like, you know, old top coats and stuff. Like what I'm going to do to get the black out of my brush. Um, this one's almost gone, but I have like three more bottles anyway. Um, just to like clean in. I have like a whole like refill bottle and everything. Hi, Nuna. Hey, Janie. I don't know if I said that. Okay. So now we have, hi, Novel Nails our two circles so matte background we use our black multi gel made our two circles it's not it's tack free so you don't have to worry about it um if you guys would share the video that would be super amazing um next thing is is that i'm going to start with my red line okay so i'm going to run the red line from the top to the bottom of the nail so but you have to be mindful where this is because we have to keep the other colors inside of our circle as well so now we're going to be using color number four this is the red um i'm pretty sure i think i mixed all these except for the blue one but whichever make sure that you're mixing your colors so you can use um one or two options so you can use your number one liner brush or you can use your artist brush so it really just kind of depends on um which way that you want to take it as far as like how thick or thin that your lines are so this one you can like vary the lines um thinner to thicker make it a little bit more interesting or you have your number one liner brush yes these are definitely new colors nail tech or you can take your number one liner brush and have like a very nice consistent line through the whole design i'm going to choose the number one liner today so 
but yes, the primary colors and secondary colors are available on expressclaws.com. And this is the red one. Thank you, Nini. So if anybody does not know what my number one liner looks like, it looks like this. I make sure that I check every single brush before I send it out, every single product, making sure that everything is super wonderful and amazing for you guys when you receive it. So I'm going to take this and I'm running this through the top. And this is going to be through the bottom, okay? So you can see where this line is going. I don't want it to be super straight, of course. So I'm going to go back in with my red multi-gel. And I'm going to make sure that the line is consistent all the way through. Touch, touch, touch. Now, if you end up going outside of the lines on this here, you can always do a little bit of black at the end in order to make sure that it is exactly how you want it. Having a matte top coat down too will help prevent your um, brush from skipping. So nobody wants to deal with that. Now just make sure that your lines and everything is 100% consistent. You can see like when I'm putting the paint on, it's not super thick. If you put it on really thick, then you're not going to get a completely even cure all the way across. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that for at least 30 seconds and close it up. So this is number four red. Squeeze out the paint over here on the side in that um, lint free wipe and I'm going to cleanse it. Oh, where's that cap? So next color, of course, is going to be orange. So. Taking my number one liner brush again. I suggest stuff. And I'm going to butt it up right against the red. Remember, this is shiny, so if you have to turn the nail so you can see what you're doing be sure that you do now I know I know that it like looks like I'm just painting over all both of those circles but you'll see at the end like why that's important hey Skyla thanks for joining in Cure that for 30 seconds. So this is number two of the new colors. Ooh, it looks like I missed somewhere right there. This is where I like always like nail tech callus, like right holding all the implements and everything. 
Um, squeeze this out again on the wipe and then clean it into your palette. And you can find these on expressclaws.com. Brushes, palettes, gels. I made sure that I uploaded these gels. Hey, Yelly. Before I um, even went live. Took all the extra time for you guys. Okay, dipping my brush into the yellow, which is color number three. I'm going to butt that up next to that orange. My number one liner brush. These gels are super duper pigmented. Um, you can see just by me going over the black, like we're not getting any shadowing from the black or anything. Uh, eight milliliters. Just going to adjust. If I make this little yellow one slightly thicker, it's not a big deal because I'm going to be going with green next. Thank you, Nail Tech. And the green will cover it anyway because it's darker. Thirty seconds. Clean it. And clean that and get us some new top coat. And just take some acetone and then just wipe this. Add some more top coat. Uh, I highly suggest that you don't use these as polish because they are so super duper pigmented and because they're tack free will definitely just chip off. You're so welcome, Janie. Okay, now we have clean top coat. Run the brush through anyway. It's okay to double check. Hey, how are you? Okay. So this is number three of the new um, multi-gel colors. So that's what we got so far. Now we're going to use the green. Oh, that's okay. It's uh, I'm still, I don't know, I'm only 25% anyway. So this is uh, the green. This is from the secondary collection. Orange was from the secondary as well. But a nice green color. Now, if you don't like the color, you can definitely adjust it if you wish. I'm just going to use them straight from the pot, all except for purple. You will see why here shortly. Yes, I just put them on the website too, so you should be able to get them right away. I have an order to pack um, tonight anyway, so I, if you order anytime during the live or soon after i will pack tonight and ship tomorrow morning see how that number one liner brush just hugs right over there hello hello now right it is so gorgeous i've really been into green lately as well so it is definitely a good time. Okay. 
just turn it, twist it, adjust it. Trying to roughly make it the same size. But you guys know me, I will literally fuss with everything until I'm satisfied, so. My clients already know too, so. <laughs> it's Pride Month. June is Pride Month. This is number eight, green. Hi, Braille Bird. Hi, Darka. Okay. Yes, they they really really do. I don't know if you have these other ones. Um, if you have my original two, the black and white, but they move exactly the same. Um, so blue is next, which is number five. So you can see I do need to stir this one slightly. You see there, right in there. That means that you have to stir it. Make sure that you're that you're always stirring it. And this is this is a little C and D spatula. If anybody is wondering, I literally got in some sort of like promo kit or whatever that they had so but I'm working on a super duper awesome spatula um, for my line hopefully we can get that together by fall well we'll see I wanna... okay so blue no oh, I still didn't stir it right whatever Ooh, yes, then you're absolutely going to love these because they move exactly the same. So you don't even have to worry about that. Okay, grabbing the blue. I'm going to do the same here. Right next to the green. I feel like a spatula. You can never go wrong. Hi, Kalani. Hi, Queen. Hi, Julie says nails. Okay. Just checking to see who's coming in. Hello, hello. Just adjust this just ever so slightly right here. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to adjust the purple. So currently the options to buy is a black and white duo. The primary colors together, which is red, blue, and yellow. And then the secondary colors together, purple, orange, and green. And you can purchase them on expressclaws.com. So two pack, a three pack, and a three pack. Hopefully I'll have like a whole like collection soon. 
So this is what it looks like before we do the purple. Looks like I can adjust the green a little bit actually. So I'm gonna do that. I still have some green here. So I don't want it to get hidden, but you know, underneath these lights. But this is how easy it is to fix your work with my multi-gel. I can just go right on over my number one liner brush. Touch it in ever so slightly and just correct that. Hi Kati. Hi Adela. Hi Nicole. Okay. Oh. I've literally like <laughs> used this up. All right. So now purple. Purple is super duper pigmented and dark. So when I open this, it's going to look black. Okay. But it is in fact not black. So I'm going to take my arrow tool from Medusa. If you don't have one, definitely need to get one. Use that link in my bio to get one. Okay. So I'm just going to grab the purple here. I'm going to show you. But like you can see, it's a really, really nice shade of purple. So I'm going to take some of my white multi-gel. I mean, obviously, I mean, you could use it just the way that it is, um, but it's like really dark. You're not going to see it on black. So I'm going to take um, some of my white multi-gel. Mind you, this is the same pot of multi-gel I've been using like on all my lives and everything else. So that shows you how far this stuff goes. This one does need to be mixed a bit. So I'm going to actually do that real quick. Try to get the blue off of my spatula. And then just mix it up real good. Hey, Antoinette. Glad you could come on. All right. Just going to take like a touch. Okay. We'll see if that's too much. It might be. Oh no, that might be just right. Let's see, I want to see what it looks like next to the black. I, I might actually need a little bit more. I mean, I personally like the way that it looks, but it does, it might need just a smidge more. Thank you, thank you, Nuna. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. I think I'll, I think that's fine. Um, if it's not, then that's okay. Lesson learned. I am tired still. So <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> I know I'm actually shook that you're awake right now, Antoinette. Like, very shook. Um, anywho. So I'm grabbing this. I'm going to grab my number one liner brush again. And I'm going to go into the purple that we made. Always kind of try to start that line out. Oh, that's so hard to see on here. I apologize. It's actually really easy to see in person, but on here it's like not easy to see currently. I promise it is purple though. <laughs> yes, exactly, Nicole. <laughs> yeah, we and we're like nails. Yeah, that that's a good idea. I should do that when I'm tired. I mean. Real talk, I mean, most of my clients, they're always asking me, like, oh, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> That's usually the response, so. Oh, well, yep, I touched over on that blue, which is fine. Um, I'll be able to correct it anyway. No big deal. Yeah, maybe in the future nail tech, this is, like, so no, I actually like purple that's like dark like this because I would much rather it be darker so where I can make it lighter versus um, 
having a light one and you can never make it darker properly. Like it would never work. Okay, and I'm going to adjust the blue after the fact. If I was tired, or if I'm, uh, if I was tired, if I wasn't tired, my line work would have been okay. I know line work isn't like a lot of people's favorites. Hi, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You think it's hot now? Just wait. Because it's going to be super duper dope at the end. We still got some work to do. Alright, so I'm going to cure that first. All I need is like 10 to 15 seconds before I can adjust the, um, the blue. Let's get this out. So I'm going to adjust the blue. Go back into my blue multi gel. And just adjust this line here. Ever so slightly. Okay, because I want to make sure it's roughly even. All the way through there we go now I mean if you wanted to just have a rainbow that's totally cool hi China you can you are totally able to just have a rainbow if that's what you want so for anybody that is just now tuning in we have my multi gel black and white we have yellow red blue orange, purple, and green. That's the one set, one set, one set. Duo, primary, secondary. That's the packs on the website, expressclaws.com. Okay, so I'm going to also wipe my, because we need some more clear here now, again. <laughs> I'm just going to take some acetone and then just clear that up. You don't want to keep touching stuff. You want to make sure that you're, um, okay. So, um, now you have this. So the next part that I want to do is I want to add on my top coat. So, pretty sure I'm going to be able to still see the circles. If not, like it's totally fine because I know where it's going to be. It's going to be like right over this bend and it's going to be right over this bend. So no big deal. So I'm going to use my Lux Shine. This is also available on the website. I do have the duo pack or the double pack, twin pack should I say, because I'm a Gemini and it's 32% off if you buy two. So it's already on its own little thing so there's two of them on the listing and it's 32 percent off and i'll keep your nails shiny for weeks so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on here like so and then for the next part. I want to make sure that the top coat is nice and even. This top coat you don't have to put on super thin. You do have the capability to do that, but you don't actually have to put it on super thin um, because of its rubber type finish. It will fill in all those little gaps and areas. So like say that you have some nails that are a little bit less than perfect, you can de definitely fix it with this. I know, right, China? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, we're going to go in with our white multi gel next. I'm sorry about my, like, dirty finger, guys. This, I just, this was when I was wearing a band-aid the other day. It's finally, like, healed up and only this little, it still, like, feels weird right here. Um, but that's all that's left. <laughs> so, thank God. All right. 
so nice and shiny so what i want to do i'm gonna close up my number one liner brush actually i'm gonna clean it first i definitely need to do that because otherwise it's gonna be gross but i'm gonna take my um highlight brush for now okay yeah that definitely needs to be clean it's horrible all right highlight brush this one hi Sharanda so highlight brush and the white multi gel over our new primary secondary multi gels with my look shine top coat all right so now let me show you real quick so we're gonna have our rainbow here right so imagine all of this is the rainbow so what I'm going to do is basically I want it to go under and then over like so. That's how it's going to be. Okay, so you're not going to have like a complete, you're not going to have this line and then do like a complete full circle like this. That's not what we're going to do. I'm going to do it like this. So remember, circle is definitely one of the most recognizable objects. So be sure to paint it properly. Hi, Neek. Hi, To Do Nails. Hello, hello. All right, so start at the top. Bring it down on the side. You want to make sure that they know where they're meeting at the same point on the side too. So people can look at it and envision that this is going to meet on one side and to the other. So I'm going to do this um, in a few different steps. make this band a little bit thicker than our rainbow and you want to make sure that when you do this part that it's not super duper thin either because we're going to sugar it Go on slowly, touch it, touch it, touch it. Turn it, turn it. Making sure that everything looks uniform. Because trust me, if it doesn't look uniform, you'll be able to tell. And then also be sure when you do the next portion, the next circle, that you make it roughly the same thickness as well. Hello, hello. Hi, Lala Nails. Hi, Eliana. Hi, Mary Bell. Hi, Michael. Hi, Steph. Thank you, thank you. Okay. So I'm just going to adjust this. I want to make sure, again, that it's the same thickness all the way around. The reason why I'm doing this is because this um, nail symbolizes a lot of different things. Um, 
I'll explain it at the end, of course. It'll make a lot more sense then. So now we're going to have our arrow here. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Mama Vic. Just make sure that your your stuff is even. painting very recognizable shapes you have to make sure that they definitely are recognizable at the end <laughs> okay now you see how I'm like adding just a bit more paint that's again because I'm going to be sugaring this okay so I'm going to set this right there I'm going to cover this because I'm going to be doing some sugaring so I want to make sure I cover that and I'm going to grab some glitter and some paper towel so I have crystal nails glitter. Unfortunately, they're going out of business, but I obviously still do have a lot of stuff here. Um, so I am going to be using it, but you can use whatever glitter it is that you want. This is very fine glitter. I'm working on getting some in the web shop as well. It's just a lot of stuff is very poor quality or um, too big. Can't use really, really big glitter for this sort of stuff. Okay, so where's my little scoopy thing? Of course, when I need it, it's just like acting like it doesn't want to be found. Hmm. I just had it earlier. Okay, well, oh, there it is. Cool. If not, you could always use um, cuticle pusher for this. Basically, I'm just going to keep going over until I know that the multi-gel has completely absorbed. All of the glitter. Okay. Cool. Yeah, they used to. <laughs> so... I'm going to put that. I'm going to do 30 seconds. I'm going to close this. Set it to the side because we're going to use it again. But this honestly is to prevent me or you from like um, really touching it. So you don't want to like ruin the work and stuff that you did. Oh, thanks, Vic. Definitely turn on those uh, notifications. Make sure you don't miss anything else ever again. Just take a brush, dust it off. So that's cool. It's only half cured, so no worries. Now I'm going to do, no, this glitter is the Crystal Nails one, Nail Tech, like I was saying. Um, I will be having some in my own store soon, just not currently right now. So, but use whichever. Um, back to the white multi-gel. I'm going to go back again. And I want to go this way. This way? Yeah. Thanks, Nini. Okay. 
to the circle. if you guys ever try this or whatever make sure that you tag me I would love to see oops I'm dropping stuff now hi CC right here have to adjust it making sure same thickness same thickness it's important okay okay now I want to come down here I want it to come off this way can choose whichever way that you want yours to come off. It's totally up to you. With your highlight brush. Well, the point isn't to be as good as mine. I've been doing a long time. Painting small things a long time. Being an artist a long time even. Far before nails. Um, naturally. So, it doesn't matter, it's about, you know, art is about having fun and expression. Like when I thought about this design today, I was like, oh my god, I think this is going to be really great. Um, this is like one of those designs that um, definitely needs some explanation behind it, so you have like the full meaning. I feel like I'm totally willing to explain that. I'm just going to adjust that. And I will adjust right here. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Okay. Again, cover up your white paint, your palette, and all that good stuff. Open up the glitter. Make sure that it is all saturated in the multi-gel. Turn it, turn it. Multiple different ways, making sure that it's getting that your design in all angles. Okay, again, I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. Thank you so much. And then after this, I'm going to do some stars. Now you can do the stars whichever way that you want. If you wanted to stamp them though, you would have had to do that um, before we did this. But, oh, that's right, I dropped this lid. But I'm going to paint them and I'm gonna show you guys how to paint them real easy. We'll need this glitter one more time. Or you don't have to, but I'm going to do it because why not? All the glitter everywhere. Okay. Oh, I do need to dust that. Dust it all. Okay. Sorry, you can see my fingerprint earlier, but... Okay, cool. And then... I'm going to do this. And then some more white multi-gel from expressclaws.com. 
and then I'm going to use the end of my stoner tool right here. It's blunt. So then I'm going to make some dots. You can make big dots, you can make small dots. Okay. So make the dots. You want to make sure that there is enough gel in there. So if you, hi Charisse, if you check this, you can see from the side that there is gel, in fact, like a bulb on here. And you're going to need that. So I'm going to use my number one liner brush from expressclaws.com. Oops. And then just going to drag it out. Grab from the center. Drag it down. You can do these all at one time. This way they're uniform, all in the same way. Only drag it as far as you want it to go. So keep that in mind. Turn your client's hands if you have to, don't be scared. These are smaller. Little more. I'll do both of these. Just be mindful where your hand is at. Cool. All right, high towerist. So I'm going to go in with my white and I'm just going to make little random white dots. The back of my stoner tool. Where is it? I think I want this one to have like, yeah, better. I like that. Okay. I like how that looks. Cool. All right. So now I'm going to go back in with my um, glitter. Don't stick your finger in it. Sugar, your stars. Don't forget the little small ones. Those are important too. Go away around. 
down from the opposite way to be sure that the glitter is getting all aspects of the design. Okay, great. Now I'm going to cure that. So I'm going to do a 60 second cure first. So that's one full cure. And then afterward, I'm going to dust it and I'm going to do another 60 second cure. This will ensure that everything is completely cured up underneath the glitter because the glitter is obviously going to be blocking some of those UV and LED lights that you're using. So we just want to make sure that the whole design is cured and that your client isn't going to have any issues um, coming back. So. Um, it would depend. I know you've asked before, Taurus, but honestly, it really depends. Like, if you have a client that has a nail, like, shorter, it's going to take a longer time. And then it also depends like on the width of her nail. So length and width of their nail and also shape of their nail matters as well. So all of that is going to depend, which is the reason why I charge a dollar a minute for my nail art. Okay, so that was the 60 seconds. You don't have to charge a dollar a minute, but um, you definitely need to make sure that the minutes are in line with what you need to be charging for your hourly rate. Okay. Another 60 seconds. So, now everybody, oops, that is not where that belongs. Um, everybody, you guys can find the new multi-gel colors on expresscolors.com there is a dual pack of black and white there is a primary pack of yellow red and blue and there is a secondary pack of orange purple and green um, i do still have the brush set available um, for a great discount with an extra gift that's only available until the end of the month. The twin pack of my new Lux Shine is only available until the 20th, so only a few days left on that. So be sure that you get that because it's 32% uh, off. Super duper awesome shiny top coat. You can see how shiny my nails are still after three weeks. This is directly on hard gel and this is directly on acrylic. So no problems at all. And I have purple hair, you guys. This is not from my purple hair this is from tonight the gel um but uh it's not stained you can see from washing my super awesome purple hair so this is our finished look with my new multi-gel um colors with all the new six colors so my um, interpretation behind this design that I made is um, that we're we're born biologically male and female and that the universe is out there and you get to do whatever it is that you want and being able to make your own choice in your own life and that's what signifies um, with a rainbow going through the male and the female symbols so I really had such a good time showing you guys how to do this design and showing you guys my new products um so if you guys have any questions or concerns or anything like that you can totally dm me i try to um get back to everybody as soon as possible it's obviously late right now so but i really try so and if it's urgent make sure <laughs> that you message again because maybe i don't see it um you know it's like you know technology and stuff like that so you can never have uh, so many errors or whatever but I had a really good time and of course if you guys ever try any of my designs make sure that you tag me on Facebook or Instagram this way I can share your designs because I always love to share your guys's beautiful designs that you recreate thank you guys so much I super appreciate you guys um, if you guys came in at the end make sure that you go and check on my IGTV because I will be saving it and you can find all of these products available on the website currently right now. Don't forget about 
the portfolio box. You can go and check that out on one of my other recent IGTV videos as well. So, awesome nail tech. I was super duper love to see. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in, even though it's late and on a weeknight. I appreciate you guys. I hope you have a good night. Bye.